What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. I appreciate everybody for coming through for BMF episode four um, recap. I got my girl Nita in the building. Nita the Diva. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. How hey. you doing? All right. And then I got Pretty Girl Loves Trap Content. How you doing? Hey, pretty girl. Yeah, yeah. I got two pretty girls up in here today, man. I'm, I'm lucky. <laughs> Don't hate. Congratulate. Um, <laughs> um, I got the link for, uh, you know, the channel in the description box below. And for Pretty Girl Loves Trap Content, I'm going to be putting her link and the uh, comments as well so that you all can go on and check her out. Uh, she got, you know, an up and coming channel and some uh, good shows. And uh, as you know and see, she loves trap content. So um, go on and check her out. <laughs> all right. So um, now we're going to talk about BMF. Um, we've already talked about a lot of the points um, that's, you know, the major highlights. Um, Let's hear from my girl, Nita. We ain't heard from her. Um, what do you think of this episode? What would you rate it? And what do you think of how the show is going so far? Am I rating it a, a zero out of 10 or yeah. a, B, C, B, zero out of 10? Okay, I'm giving a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. It, it teeters. Right. It teeters on eight because I, I think it was um pretty good. Like getting the plug, securing the plug. Um, Pat and Rock was that Rock or was his name Tony? I don't know. Why I got his name. <laughs> Which one is his name? Uh, you talking about Marvin Hagler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Marvin Hagler with that head. Yeah, we we <laughs> we we'll call him Hagler. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> that scene right there, him securing the plug, and yeah, I, I mean, I just, you know, what I'm saying, I, I just have a hard time with this show because I feel like it's a lot of amateurs. It's, it's not it, like it feels amateurish, but I like the storyline. I'm here for all of that, but um, yeah, I, I kind of. Teeter, teeter, teeter on like loving the show. Like I love raising Canaan, but um, yeah, yeah, it's a so, lot of similarities. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, so what did y'all rate it? Because yeah. I didn't, I didn't see. I give it an eight. And okay. uh, pretty girl, I was just about to ask you, uh, what would you rate the show so far? And uh, with this episode as well as the show, what would you rate it? I give the show an eight. The episode, I probably would give it an eight. There were a lot of, you know, asthma pump moments. <laughs> but yeah, I give it an eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, it was pretty entertaining. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know, like uh Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna bump it up to an eight because we had the we had the cash dog busting it open. <laughs> We had the Sarah um, from Empire, the yeah. baby mama scene. So we had some good stuff in there. We had the little shootout at the trap house. So, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to bump it up to eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's an it's a eight. It's a solid eight. Um, it's just as good as uh, Raising Canaan, I think. And, uh, you know. Um, I'm interested to see the only thing. Um, normally, I don't have a problem with prequels. But this one, it's just so much information out. I just hope that they keep it loosely based and, uh, you know, give us some stuff to look forward to um, and, and throw some curveballs. Don't just throw strikes up the middle, you know, because uh, it's going to mess it up to me. Um, it's just too much, you know. It ain't the same as, like, uh, Raising Canaan. Um, the only thing we know with that is that... Uh, that he's gonna die and jukebox is gonna die like how to, and how they die other than that we don't know anything um with this area people know way too much they know who gonna live who gonna die um what who joined this who didn't join that blase skippy whoop de whoop and uh <laughs> it, it does kind of make it uh it messes it up a little bit so like i say i hope they they keep it loosely based um, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I think the fact that I heard that they actually gender swap Cato, 
I think that they are going to take those type of liberties. Right. Um, because that in itself as an element, because she slept with B. Mickey. Now, you know the real Kato ain't do that. So, right, like, right. We need to see, like, where this is going. So, I think it, yeah, I think they will take some liberties, and I don't think that they will really go, you know, tell the whole story because. Baby, the fans is watching. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, and you got to be careful with that. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to D Weave coming through. He says, salute Jay and the beautiful sisters. That's what's up. Um, hey, D Weave. Definitely, hey. definitely. Brillo say, what up, though? Live from Detroit. So uh, he definitely is looking, uh, you know, enjoying the show and giving the mm -hmm. shout out. Always said, hey, what's up, everyone, with the shout-out. So, appreciate you coming through, my uh, brother, uh, with that. And so, uh, let me ask you this. So, in this episode, we saw that uh, Meech, um, in the last episode, rather, that Meech saw um, what's uh, Wood Harris' uh, Pat, Project Pat, is a smoker. So, uh, what do you think is going to happen with their relationship? Now they know he's a smoker, and then they know he's a killer, um, a brutal killer. So, uh, let me ask you this, pretty girl. We kick it off with you. What do you think the dynamic is going to be with Meech and uh, Pat? Do you think that they eventually just going to blow up, and uh, or are they going to work it out? What do you think? Because he wants to move on. Yeah, the dynamic is definitely going to change because, you know, with them being late with their payment, that pretty much changed uh, Pat from hero to boss <laughs> from their perspective. Right. You know, they're, they're seeing, hmm. I guess, the quote-unquote bad side Absolutely. of Pat. Well, not really the bad side, but, you know, the, the disciplinarian, the I guess. The real side. Say. Yeah, so, that's yeah, a good point. It's yeah. definitely going to change, so... You know, and the fact that he's just acting like the man, just trying to hold him down, it's, it's a problem. You know, they're trying to promote themselves, and he doesn't want that. And I think the right hand man, uh, Marvin Hagler, Rock, <laughs> Rock, he's told me, you know, like they're pretty much Pat's only employees. So <laughs> if they go, he has nobody to go to. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a problem. Pat is either going to need to die or get locked up. Yeah, that's a good point. Nita, what you think about that dynamic? And uh, do you think it's any way um, Pat may just, uh, you know, end up working for them? You know, I don't know if it'll work out that way. I definitely don't think it'll work out that way. But you see how this, this shot is framed? I swear, I thought it was going where... Dude in the back was going to shoot Pat because Pat was a liability. He fell off. And if he had the plug, I thought that it was going to go like I'm taking your spot. You right. know what I'm saying? So I thought that's where I thought it was going. I was so surprised to see Pat take him out. It was just like, oh. I mean, it threw me a curveball. I swear that should have been a play. Because I'm still trying to figure out, so the connect is still there, but not there. He right. done took out the he, he done Pat then took out the middleman, and then the plug is still over there. Like I, I really think they should have. Um, yeah, this it dude worked for Pat. I, yeah, he worked for Pat, and uh, you know he was like Pat's uh, right hand right man. Hand. Yeah. Right. So you know the right hand is always trying to move up. So yeah. it, like I said, with his, with his uh, drug habit and with him falling off and all that stuff, I really thought that he was gonna make the play. But I should have known he was standing there with a damn shovel. So I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I swear I felt like that should have been a move. Yeah, definitely. I'm hearing a little clicking or something. Uh, I don't know. Was somebody? I don't know. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, he definitely act like he was about to hit one of them with the sub shovel and straight blew his head off with that damn shovel. That was that definitely was a uh, you know a uh, surprise. But you know, I know how the game go. But you know, he did play it off pretty good. 
Um, and uh, I think that uh, maybe um, Pat may end up having to work for them or something because uh, I know he ain't going to want to and he damn sure going to be fighting, kicking and screaming or either they going to have to kill him. So uh, we'll see. But that definitely is going to be um, a change in the dynamic. And uh, it seems that there's a lot of that going on right now. Um, so uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. You all don't hear that clicking every so often or something? Moving? All right. All right. I might be tweaking like Project Pat up in here, man. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, one of the things. Oh, okay. Um, one of the things that uh, we uh, saw is that uh, this dude, uh, the the officer, what do they call him? Uh, Coach Coach Copper. <laughs> Right. Right. Let me pull these names up because I don't. I still don't got these names yet. Yeah. Uh, Coach Copper over here. He. he <laughs> yeah, it seems that uh, Frederick Douglass know that. Uh, yeah. Fred. Freddie. Freddie D know that. Uh, you know what I'm saying that he ain't above board. So I wonder how many other people is on to him. And uh, do you think he gonna be able to make it in this uh, game and come out clean on the other side? Um, you know, without people realizing that he dirty. What you think, Nita? No, because I think too many people know his tea. Too many people, even street people know his tea. The 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 other side know his tea, like... Clocked yeah. his tea? Yeah, they, they clocked it, and they can use it however they want to. Yeah. I really think that, um, yeah, he's going to be under the... He gonna be under somebody's thumb for for sure. Yeah. Um, I, like I, I really want to say that he really just need to quit and join the bad side, but then he ain't gonna be no use to the bad side because you need the police. Right. You know what I'm saying? You need that part. So That's I don't true. know, I, but I I don't see it going well for him. Right, right. He ha he hasn't shown me any kind of intelligence just yet. Like he is really like making these moves, and he really know how to. He hasn't shown me that, so I really don't think that he's gonna last as long as people may think. Okay. So I don't know. All right, uh, pretty girl. What you think about uh, them finding J Mo body? Do you think that uh, he gonna be able to protect Meech and them? Or do you think that they gonna really find a way to put this on Meech uh, and the and the crew somehow? I don't know, but the streets needed a body, and uh, <laughs> streets need a body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think honestly, this can possibly be a good thing uh, because they can possibly use this to put someone away. You know, hopefully Lamar. Um, but yeah, I think. Uh, possibly, if they play this right, I, I think of um, Meech as Rock in a sense. He has a lot of enemies, and I feel like they probably would take this in a route where they can knock two or three birds with one stone. You know, maybe they can put away the crooked cop like Rock did. Maybe they could put away the ops. So, you know, they possibly can go that route, but I, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that J Mo Body has uh, been found. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't see how they can actually tie it to anybody. He been in the water. Um some people were saying on Lamont channel that the body looked bad, this that and the other. I mean, or they said it didn't look as bad as it should, but but the it did look bad. He looked like vampire looked in Brooklyn. Me. Yeah. You know what I mean? He looked like uh Kadeem Hardison in Vampire in Brooklyn. You're one of my good ghouls. <laughs> but uh that water was cold. So that cold water will kind of preserve it a little bit versus if it was, you know, room temperature or hot outside. But, uh, you know, because you can see his little beard had a little, you know what I'm saying, crystals on it. Yeah, yeah a little, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was a straight thugsicle. Look, I can see. Let's just um, say, let's just say the makeup department messed up. Let's just say, <laughs> let's just say that because that shit did not add up. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I can see B. Mickey kind of pulling a Canaan because he had to dispose of that body on his own. B. Mickey is probably 96 pounds wet. <laughs> like he had a little more weight on him. Did he dispose of the weapon properly? Like, it's too many too many things going on. I feel like me should have helped and, you know, oversaw, you know, that process. Yeah. And being as though Meech got locked up and B. Mickey held all the cards because he did it and he had to clean it up, he could have essentially Set tied Meech it up. all to him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's true. So I think uh Meech so definitely I don't know gonna... how it played out because I don't I I don't follow them on the on the Midwest and all that stuff. So I I don't know nothing about them. Like I'm all East Coast. I'm an East Coast girl. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think Meech gonna have to take uh uh be Mickey out eventually. Um so yes. he just know too Sooner much. Than later, cause my intuition is telling me something is not right with him. Uh-huh. Now let me ask you this, uh, from a woman perspective, uh, pretty girl, you you kick it off. What you think about Big L and how she approached and uh tried to peep game on them uh from from the side without them knowing. Uh what it, what do you think is gonna happen with her and Terry and do you think that they may even get into some type of entanglement down the road? I do sense some sexual tension, you know, between her and T. Um, but I feel like if they had a little more experience, they could have put two and two together. You know, she approached them kind of randomly. She had on a blue shirt, you know, but of course, just being a man, you're probably not thinking Big L is a woman. So, you know, that's kind of easily <laughs> an easy mistake to make. Right. But it's going to be a problem because she's thinking that Meech is a loose cannon. I do feel like it was kind of out of, out of character of him just being girl crazy. I mean, I know Cash Jaw just just dropped them <laughs> but he still had a beautiful baby mama to go home to why did he not go i don't know um but i think you know me just you know a little more smooth and uh business minded than what she gave him credit for but he was just acting kind of just out of character of that um that scene okay that's now, a good point uh, um, pretty girl, you mentioned the blue shirt. What is the connection with the blue shirt? Because that went over my head. Yeah, they in the beginning of the scene. Um, I'm not sure if the this is the connect from Rock, but anywho, they pretty much stated that the person that they were meeting at the bar is supposed to have a blue shirt on. Right, mm. and they they was so focused they on went, it being it went a all woman. The way over the head. Yeah, yeah, didn't even cross their mind that it could be a woman. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't. It was that on the um, piece of paper that was um, underneath the um, the glass. No, nah, that was to meet up with uh, when they was in the store. That's when they got set up with the guns by what you call it, and got took with the with the shovel. Uh, with uh, Pat Project Pat. That's what you're talking about. No, no, that happened after. She, she, they went to the club, right? Pet, pet stuff happened after they went to the club. I think it was before, but uh, oh, okay. I can't remember. Yeah, I had to double check, or whatever. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kind of getting confused now. I know. Yeah. I was like, which one is it? I, I, gotta, I thought, well, the club. No, the club. I can was, look right here and see if it was. Based on no, the they went to the country club, and that's when Pat got them. But when did the club thing? Yeah, the bar right? was before the club. Before the, uh, okay. you right. The bar yeah. was before that. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's interesting about that, and uh, you know we'll see how it all turn out. But uh, I do pick pick up on the tension right there. So um, let me ask you this then. What do you think is going to happen? What are we expecting for the next episode? What do you want to see? Nita, I'll let you kick it off. Um, what is, uh, you know, a hot take that you would like to see or you think may happen in the next episode? What has me really intrigued from the trailer is Pat going to the policeman with some money. And we know that Meech is already paying him off. And I'm trying to figure out what is Pat's angle. 
like that's one of the things that I'm really, really um, curious about. And then I, I'm, look, listen, I'm curious about Cato and her angle. Like, I need to know more about that angle, child, because I'm telling you, girl, you got my you got my nerves shot to shingles because I don't know. <laughs> girl, I don't know what you're going to do. I'm sitting up here like, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, so those are the um, two things that I'm really looking forward to. And I really want to get some kind of resolve with B. Nikki. I need some more details on him because... He does not sit well in my spirit, and baby, I listen to my intuition. I do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, pretty girl, what what are you looking forward to seeing, or what is your hot take that you think may happen in the next episode? I really want them to find out about Kato. I mean, I I can't take it. My heart can't take it. <laughs> can't take it in the war. But I, of course, like you said, I don't want her to die. I just don't know what other option, you know, there is for her. Um, I want the male to come back. Um, and um, I know I, I hate him normally in every other show, and I kind of felt some sympathy <laughs> for him on this show. But I feel like whenever you leave somebody alive like that, that's... They coming back. They coming back. And he's going to be born. He reminded me of um, Wallace um, in um, The Wire. I'm not sure if you remember, but he pretty much went away to kind of stay low, but he got bored in the country. He was staying with his grandmother in the country and got bored. So since for Mel, you know, he a city boy. Going to North Carolina. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. yeah. He's definitely going to make yeah. his way back. Um, and I did peep that uh, it looks like T and Meech may have kidnapped Slick. Um, mm. So Slick is an OG, so what we're going to see... How that's going? I'm not like Slick, so I, I don't know. I, don't know I, know, I know. I know. I I hate for likable characters to get killed off, but yeah. But I don't even think they got it in them yet. Like I still don't like they be trying to the buck like they hard, but they do not got it in them just yet. So yeah, they still learning. That's yeah. their flaw. That's one right. of their flaws. Like. I mean, not a flaw because I mean it's a good thing, but at right. the same time, in the game, right, right, <laughs> right. You look, yeah. yeah, yeah. They still puppies in the game, and so yeah. you know, um, absolutely. Yeah, one of the things that I think is going to happen uh, is that uh, I think maybe uh, we going to finally see what's up with Eminem too. Um, and what character and what he's going to do and, and what he's about. Um, yeah. It, yeah, it is episode five. Yeah, so, so we're running out they, of time. They turn it up, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna turn it up. Yeah, definitely. So I'm wondering what what is he gonna you know add to this? Um, we ain't really did seen see him. him. In the, did you see him in a preview in the trailer? I didn't see it. I didn't oh, watch okay. uh, some of the trailers. I missed a couple of them, um, but. Uh, we haven't seen Eminem really on the screen since Eight Mile. He really hasn't done too many movies and things uh, that much. So um, I am interested to see what he gonna bring to the table and uh, what what role he's how he's gonna play it. And then also, um, I think that we're going to see more Project Pat decline. I think we may see him, you know, becoming the rock star that he always dreamed of becoming. Right. And uh, I think that uh, it's going to put a strain on, uh, you know, how Meech used to look up to him. You know, that was his hero. And uh, now he's seeing behind the veil that his hero got problems. And uh, also, he don't have any weight. We probably going to understand and find out that he's probably in debt and he's probably got people looking for him ready to kill him which mm. is why he's stressing and uh needing that money because uh it's it's about to be some heat on his ass so um we'll definitely see um my boy Jimbo came through said Big L the hey, devil Jimbo. in the red dress peep out how they made Big L face and hands red in the lighting. That's what's up. They trying to tell us something subconsciously and subliminally. 
um, that, uh, you know, she may not be, be the one, man. She, she may be, uh, somebody that cause a rift between the brothers and, uh, potentially break them up, you know, even though she was wearing the blue. Yeah. You know, I, she, I, I said that. I mean, I didn't say it in that sense, but I was just like, mm, I feel like that this is going to, you know, mm -hmm. bring a riff in the, um, in the family just by ego. But yeah, they could be telling us a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. But you know, the club lights is red though, so I don't know. <laughs> she about to. I don't. I don't know if they that smart over there. Yeah, so. she about to give them that red light special, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Giving that red light special. I know I can sing. I know. I, I really I got... <laughs> um. I really um. What else was I gonna say? I really want. Oh, yeah, Eminem. He's a really good. I like him as an actor. I was surprised that he didn't do more. Yeah. Because I, I really kind of enjoyed him in 8 Mile. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he was kind of really playing a version of himself. And so I don't know if that translates over to acting. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So, um, and he kind of is the type of person that don't want to be famous. Um, right. Even though he mega famous, he don't. You know what I mean. He ain't trying to really be out there like that. Um, Did anybody think that Big L was the feds? Why y'all put it? Put a one if you think Big L is the feds. Put a two if you think she not. While you all putting up the numbers, I'm gonna play this video for my boy Jimbo. Thanks for the I super chat. Ha <laughs> ha! Little little you know? eye candy for the ladies. Simon says. Everybody down on the floor. Now, you got an amazing story to tell your friends. If not, well, you got a tag on your toe. You decide. Tag on the toe. I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, my God. Uh, and here go another one, man. The Jimbo came through. <laughs> That's back when I used to, you know what I'm saying, be in shape, man. I'm trying to, you know, look good for the ladies. I try, I try. You know, I was working on a music career, so, you know, try to do what I can. So, most people <laughs> are saying that they don't think that she is. Okay. No, nah, you got Drizzy said that she is. Um, what up, Big Jimmy? Big Jimbo? Uh, you got Nelly saying no. Rare Groove, Roller, no. Allen, no. Jeremiah, no. Jimbo G, no. Um, Miss Crafty says she thought she was, but now she's saying no. So, you know. Well, well, um, does anybody know the story? No. Can anybody <laughs> vouch who, nah, who what she is, if she is? And, and that's another one. Like I said, when they change the genders, they kind of change the whole dynamic. And so... Yeah, you know, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I just wonder. Yeah, I'm interested to see um, what what comes of that. I don't think she's the feds, but I do think she gonna end up being trouble between the brothers' relationship. Yeah. But I do yeah, think absolutely. that they will be able to work it out eventually. Um, so uh, we'll see how it happens with that. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, speaking of uh, trouble, we saw. That cash doll is messing with this dude, Lamar. She ten toes down, or rather, I should say, ten toes up on Lamar. <laughs> so, do you think, Nita, because uh, I have me and cash doll talked about this a little. Let me hear your take, and then I, I mean, not cash doll, pretty girl. Pretty girl. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it out. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know that's right. <laughs> Me and uh pretty girl talked about it yesterday. But uh what what is your take? Do you think that Lamar may be trouble for her in the sense that he may even get too possessive and take her out? Uh or do you think that uh, you know, he really love her and he ain't, he gonna be there for her, um in the long I term. I, 
you know, I don't know with Lamar because Lamar is so cuckoo. That nigga is a tick, tick, boom nigga. He is a tick, tick, boom. So the fact that when when he first interacted with her and she was like rejecting him, he was on the tick, tick, boom. Then he changed his strategy up and then he saw the softer side of her. So that's why I was saying I, I was wondering, like, what is his like level of her? Like, do he like her? Do he love her? Is he in love with her? See, that's what I'm thinking. Like, with this show, they just keep giving us breadcrumbs where we can't really predict because they don't even give us enough information. Like, they don't give us enough information on Cato. They don't give us enough information on their relationship. They, um, when I say there, I say um, uh, Monique and Lamar. Like we knew he was her man prior to, and all of that. And but like I said, they just giving us breadcrumbs, and I, I, I find it hard to predict it because what I was saying, like I, I just knew. So what's up? What you think about? this situation uh with now nah, she done ten toes up so are they a no. couple now or what or is this you just remember, a thank you you remember <laughs> that Meech called Lamar a legend in the streets so I'm thinking just because we didn't see him kill anybody on you know what I'm saying like I, I feel like that he's already done it he's already proved it and he hasn't have to you know he hasn't had to do it now because he got the mold and he got the different you know he's learned and evolved and he's done different things or whatever and so I think she thinks that he is better than me like like when you make a decision like that <laughs> look I, I'm gonna need you to you know, think about all angles. You need to think about Meech's strengths, his weaknesses. You need to think about Lamar. Like, we don't even know how old Lamar is. How old is Lamar? Lamar might have a little bit more wisdom on him. He may have a little bit more time on him, more experience on him. He look like, like he in his 30s. Yeah. You know. So, you know, um, yeah. All right, pretty girl, uh, what you... don't tend to go to young men unless they're trying to get their back blown out. So. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's that funny. Is... <laughs> <laughs> that was good information. No. Nah. <laughs> so, uh, pretty girl, what's up? Now that she ten toes up, are they in a relationship now? Is she really down for him? Or was that just like a thank you for the for the gift and, uh, you know, <laughs> keep it moving? <laughs> Nah, they burned now. And I just peeked. He has on those Nike Cortez. He took those boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took the Nikes on. He sure do. He Pretty sure girl, do. I said he wasn't going to take the Michael Myers boots off. He took them off. <laughs> Praise God. <Ooh. laughs> What's the signature? He, he took yeah, off them they, construction they boots, here. boy. <laughs> <laughs> that boy had them steel toes, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they together. So they together. So yeah. So I mean, how long do you think this relationship may last? Uh, you know, is it is it fragile? Is you think they solid now? I mean, what what's up? As long as he buying her stuff, she good. But if he go back to jail, she gonna turn on him, or she gonna be there for him? He's a wild part because you remember he was. He was pretty rough with her until he got some advice from, you know, Slick. So it doesn't seem like that suaveness comes easily to him. Um, he seems pretty, you know, too old not to know how to deal with a woman. It's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, I think something may happen and he may show his other side again. Because, you know, that crazy, mm. it'll creep up. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Happens. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't plus he's been institutionalized, so... Um, ain't no telling how he, uh, you know, actually is. He on good behavior right now. <laughs> <laughs> he on good behavior. So um, you know what I was just thinking, Jay. What's up? I, I was thinking, like I said. Now, I want to say that 
you know, women are good. But everybody is not good. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she too can be used as a tool because did you see how quick she flipped for the iced out shit? Yeah. <laughs> and you know Meech is about that money. He's ready to So if so, he get more money, she might flip sides, huh? If so, Meech come up, yeah. Right. And like I said, that's his Achilles heel, her and that baby. I know the baby for sure, but I don't know about her. I'm trying to figure out where his level of like and love for her. Because like I said, he looked like he was getting ready to pull on her and take her out when she rejected him. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to really figure out where his level of like. Is it just with the kid? Or do he love her too? So you know, I like I can't really come up with an informed uh, thing because right. I feel like you know there are so many missing pieces to the story. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, Mitch, what he always come with in his hand, money. Yeah. Well, That's not, it. Yeah. Now that he and, got the money, he may be all right for the time being. Pretty girl, what was you going to say? No, I mean, I'm pretty sure that uh, he bought that necklace with the money he stole from me. So, you know, he ah. pretty much bought her that necklace. So he could be like, you know, he bought that with my money, right? Come over here, girl. <laughs> right. That's a good point. That's a real good point. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, we see. So what's up, man? Do you all think that he got some type of cold or something because it looked like he was about to ta take terry out until he saw him uh his his uh you know son's mama or uh, daughter's mama uh roll store? up yeah so it looked I like they was gonna he, do I something he might have rolled up on him and maybe roughed him up but not take him out but yeah he did it looked like he he was coming with some pressure but i don't know about taking him out in the store i was like, thinking I I mean, follow him out to the car, maybe, but... Yeah. I, I was thinking about it. He did make a promise to Cash Doll that he would not hurt her, her daughter again. Thereby, he's probably trying to avoid murder charges as much as he possibly can, which is why he's trying to just torture people versus <laughs> killing them. Um, so he's trying to not to catch a case. So I think well, that's like part of his rationale. It's like um, a he's trying to stay stay as clean as he possibly can and stay around for the little girl. That That's what mm -hmm. I can... Yeah, you know, and the 48 Laws of Power tell you keep your hands clean and have other people do your dirt for you. So... Yeah. You say, I ain't kill nobody. Just a little torture on the side. That's all. Yeah. I ain't kill... You said don't kill nobody. What's a little, you know, torture here or there? Everybody do it. <laughs> right right you know what i'm saying so um we'll see how it go with him man one uh other thing though is that uh he did uh shut down their little stone burgers and they ain't know what to do they was young man they ain't know how to handle it they should have just went and sold people regular burgers um but you know it is what it is. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> now let me ask you this, pretty girl. Uh, yeah, the stone burger right here. Right. Oh. It's stone because it got extra mayo on it. There you right. go. <laughs> um, we got onions on the motherfucker. <laughs> grilled like, onions. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Definitely. Um, pretty girl. Now that you had a little more time to think about it, what role do you think uh, Pastor, Pastor Offering, Pastor Cavassier over here, uh, Snoop, what is he going to do? Is he going to end up being uh, in an entanglement with the moms? Uh, is he selling dope on the side as another connect? What, what, what's, what's, uh, what's he up to? What's your predictions? I don't know if it's a sexual future, but I feel like a financial one is definitely... Uh, in the works because his niece is representing them so you know she's going to get her 30 percent and he's going to get 10% of what the niece is giving <laughs> getting and then 10% of what you know the mother is giving he, he's going to be getting all the <laughs> right he's going to get 20% <laughs> basically <laughs> right so 
I definitely think he, he's, he's going to have a part in that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know about the sexual thing. She may have to take the wig off. You know, they do do anything <laughs> with that awful wig. She's going to have to get <laughs> her good, like, Tasha. <laughs> take it off. We're going to have to wig out, baby. Come on now. You take yours off, father, I'm going to take mine off. I can see the father getting fucked with the pastor for some reason. I can see that too, cause he been giving him a little side eye. They been kind of uh, playing like, hands. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and I, I hate that they keep on just like teasing us with it, and like. So, do you think it's gonna be something big because they keep teasing us, just like they teasing us with B. Mickey and Kato? And now Snoop, they teasing us. Like I yeah. feel like they may. It may be like a real major something. That's yeah. gonna be like. <sighs> I I think it's gonna be something. Uh, for one, you yeah. don't get an actor like Snoop at that stature uh, of notoriety just to have him play this role. Yeah, no right, right, he, he, <laughs> right, right. He ain't necessarily no Denzel, but everybody know who he is and uh right, you ain't right. gonna have him play a legit pastor that don't even make sense and right. uh it's very few roles that i remember snoop ever being in where he was doing good <laughs> <laughs> so uh smoking though <laughs> definitely <laughs> always smoking <laughs> right right this right here is from the Lord right here, baby. I'm telling you, this is a blessing, you understand? It came from the ground, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, you know, he definitely going to be up to something, man. I wouldn't put it past him. And uh, I definitely see some shadiness uh, going on. So, um, let, let me ask y'all before we get up out of here tonight. Um, what do you think, uh, pretty girl? I'm gonna let you go ahead first and kick it off. What you think is gonna how this season may end? Uh, we halfway through. Um, what do you think the the ending of this season is gonna look like? I don't know. Maybe a cliffhanger between them and Pat, possibly. You know, okay. um, because they're going to definitely need to get you know un away from him in terms of you know finding a new connect. Um, but I'm just curious. So you think he going to live? Pat? Uh, I don't know. He's either going to die or go to jail. I, I, he's not going to be able to be the same. Unless he may just be, you know, a crackhead around the corner. You know, a little pookie action. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I gave you your start, that devil. Let me get one on the house. <laughs> <laughs> like that crackhead at the stash house. Right, <laughs> right. This is some good shit, man. <laughs> Mommy, but when I curious. gave you a star. Because, you know, this this was picked up, season two was picked up, like, after the first episode aired. So I don't know how how long mm. they're going to take this, you know, this right. journey. Because they've been in the dope game for, what, 25 years or so? Yeah. So I, I wonder how, time to go. how long they're going to stretch this out. Yeah, I really wow. just wish that they do a good job of it. You know, I just, mm -hmm. you know. when did they all go to jail for for good? Like early two thousands or mid two thousands? We can get locked up, didn't? Yeah, they both oh, locked did? up. Just, yeah, he just got out. Of oh, I thought ago. Mitch was the only one that went to jail. Mm -hmm. nah, I want to say both. mid two thousands because I think well in the beginning of the season when he. The first scene, I think it was, what, 2003 or something? But I'm not sure. I think he was in and out. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't researching everything because I, I know. Like, still have a surprise element. But, yeah, I just I want them to have the pacing right if they're going to go five seasons. I don't want them to rush everything in one season. So. Right, right. I the people in the chat, if you know, put a three in the chat if... Put a three in the chat if <laughs> no, 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 for real. Put a three in the chat if we'll get to it. If he if he went to jail, put a three in the chat. Right. <laughs> it's late, y'all. We've been working hard, okay? <laughs> Trying to deliver more trap content to y'all. <laughs> uh, Nisi Q got a good question. She said. 
uh, Snoop made a slick comment to the mama about him being there for her from back in the day. Uh, pretty girl, what you think of uh, that mean right there? What do you mean by oh, that? I didn't catch that. Is that Snoop? I didn't catch that either. She said it was Snoop. I didn't catch that comment either. Um, yeah. Assuming that he did say that comment, um, what do you think that meant? That would explain why he act like that. Mm-hmm. And he have certain, you know, he think he has certain passes because, you know, they was he friends in school or they was in a relationship. Yeah. So that's probably why the father, you know, was feeling some type of way because, you know, he know they have a past, but he can't do too much because he's a man of the poor. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he, yeah, if you if anything back in the day when you have that reference, you already know what it is. Okay. She said he said that outside the church. I'm going to have to check okay. that out again. And, uh, I know I see it's a couple things I missed because I definitely missed I did that miss. comment. Um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, damn, if that's the case, yeah. Um, no wonder they keep being all handsy and stuff. They probably used to, <laughs> you know what I mean, be in a relationship together. And uh, now he a, he, a, he a church, he, he the deacon, and she remember that deacon her life. <laughs> and so she like, he, he, he. I knew you was special. I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the father may be thinking like, mm, is she thinking she made the wrong choice? Right, right. She probably would be. I mean, I she stopped. Been the first lady. <laughs> right, right. She could have been sitting in the church with a big hat in the first row. <laughs> Not struggling, getting the congregation money. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Uh, Nita, what you think? You think they may have dated, messed around, or just old friends? They what? had to have done something. Something had to happen. Miss mm-hmm. Bab said but, Terry just got out what, last the, year. The whole thing about me with that father, like the father is giving me insecure, um, narcissistic. Like he's giving me these vibes that he's not secure within himself and I mean for good reason you know he may don't have the best job he may can't provide for his family so I understand why he's being like that but at the same time you know uh-huh. uh, you know what I'm saying yeah. Miss Bab said Terry just got out last year and Meech is supposed to get out in 2028 so he may have seven more years left. Um, hopefully they got some money stashed somewhere. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, to have what they had and now to have to start all over again at such an older age, that's going to be a nightmare. And plus, by being gone for, what, 20 plus years or so, um, so much passed you by and you don't realize it's like, uh, you know, starting all up all over again. So, um, we'll see. Well, his son making a little change now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully his son, uh, I think he's doing a good job. What do you, uh, think about it, uh, is his son doing a good job? You think he got a good future in, uh, acting biz? I yeah. think he's doing a good job. Yeah, he's definitely doing a good job. I'm not sure how diverse he could be. Of course, it comes with experience. But I think it just makes it really authentic for me. Yeah. Um, but I, I definitely love him in that role. But, yeah. But he's I think the good biggest in this question, role. Like, I don't know yeah. how it would translate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he's doing a damn good job, especially for his uh, first time in this. So um, I definitely give him props. And it does add a little authenticity to it. Do um, they look like 15 year olds or no? Th- they don't look like 15 year olds, though. <laughs> they do not. And uh, in all the pictures, it showed them as the same height. But this guy they got playing Terry looked bigger than him. I don't know. Did Meat sprout up later and they was the same height? or I don't know. But uh, I don't know. But yeah. I'm like, them niggas don't look. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The, so, yeah. The real, the real question is is the uh, the sister gonna go on this field trip? That's stressing me out, y'all. Girl, that's what you got all the money. Right. It's yeah. in the wrong hands. Whether she want to go or she don't want to go is is all up to her. Because them motherfuckers, they've been giving her the money. <laughs> 
she could go to Vegas. <laughs> they, need right. to, they need to go to that sister because she got it. Yeah, <laughs> me has been breaking off. And, uh, you ain't lying. She need to go to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> need to flip it. Um, so we'll see who who need to go to Vegas because they've been gambling with their life is, uh, you know, Lil' Kato. Uh, you yeah. all think she going to make it through the end of this season? No. Nita, what do what, what you think? She going to end up dead or in jail? Which one? And and who going to kill her, Lamar Man. or Meech? I got it on Lamar. Okay. Because I still don't feel like Meech got it in him. Until I see he got it in him, you know. But I still think it's going to be Lamar because he got the stash house. He got the other thing. But I don't know. You need to kind of like. And I think that's why she's working her way to be Mickey so she can get that pillow talk from him. So I don't know. Okay. It would be good if it would be Meech, and if that would be his first kill. I, yeah. I mean, I, I I would like it because, like I said, he's been he's never seen it for her. He hated her. He does not like her. Like I don't understand. Like if you don't like somebody, why are they in your organization? Yeah, if they only got a four man crew, crew or something. Uh-huh. I say, yeah, they only got like a four man crew. He may need to do something or well, they had a couple other people, but that's this inner I mean, circle. That's so true. yeah, yeah, he but need to do something time. though. Yeah, um, pretty girl, what's up? You think she gonna uh, make it through the end of this season, or Lamar gonna get her, or Meech and the crew gonna get her? I don't know. I want them to be really creative with how they handle her. You know. Yeah. Um, but I'm just curious how she got in the crew. I mean, I'm thinking maybe she got in maybe under, you know, through her father's name since he was possibly in the game. You know, maybe she had those three references, you know, put in that job. <laughs> <laughs> put it on her application. Her application was nice, boy. <laughs> but I was just thinking maybe, I don't know, she could possibly work for the feds or something, you know, and really be effed up and, and you know, just oh, right. a, a triple agent. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, right. She may end up having to run to the feds for help. She might have to. Yeah. And uh, I got a take right here, a hot take that I was just thinking. I got a feeling we may not see Meech kill anyone in this show or Terry because they are still alive. They real people and they probably don't want that depicted as them killing people on the show, which may lead back to them or some or more questions. What do you think? You think they may actually do that? I agree. Yeah, they may not. I agree. Yeah. I, I said earlier, I said the fans is watching. They are. Just like in rap music, they be listening, man, uh, uh, nowadays to some of these people's lyrics. Uh, they they yeah. got questionable situations going on. So they might be like, oh, yeah, you put it in the show, huh? Okay. <laughs> we know who that was. You're right. So, uh, yeah. That's definitely. the real revenge. Lamar, we got you. Right. We're gonna make a <laughs> we're gonna make a movie we're gonna make a series implicating you. <laughs> Damn and right. And get paid. And make you right. go to jail and look bad. <laughs> yeah. Have him the one that killed everybody. <laughs> yeah, that would be dirty, man. So we'll he see. Looking like the boogeyman like shit. Like I said, I thought he shot T, but for some reason I keep going between him and D B Mickey. D Mickey or whatever. <laughs> Lamar B Mickey. I keep going between who shot Terry. And we know I just feel like Lamar gives us he can kill anybody because that nigga look like he look like Michael Myers or uh, Black Michael Myers. <laughs> Dark man up in here, man. He definitely was uh hiding up in there. Yeah, hiding in that uh, corner. Uh, <laughs> Lamont had a dark picture, right. but he was definitely hiding up like in that corner. Michael Myers in this moment. Right. <laughs> so here, kitty, kitty. I'm like, oh. Right. I was like, at least Michael Myers don't even talk, but he like. Mm-hmm. And then they showed his little shoes walking and shit. I was like, you know what? 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, um, and uh, Greta just put out a good point. There's no statue of limitations for murder. So uh, they like, yeah, we can make this entertainment, but don't make it. That. Yeah, don't make it too entertaining. Now I'm telling too much. <laughs> Right. Slow that down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, we'll see. Um, Jimbo say the real life Lamar is about your color, Le Nita. <laughs> so they got him looking, you know, a little different, to say the least. <laughs> That's because he need to hide in the back like Michael. <laughs> <laughs> They got him like a little chameleon, a hood chameleon up in this piece. <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, you know. But, uh, hey, man, we getting ready to wrap it up. Thank you all for coming through. I appreciate it, ladies, for coming on through. Um, and make sure you guys subscribe to their channels. Um, I'm going to definitely put the link in for uh, Pretty Girl one more time. Nita's and Moochie, uh, you know, link is in the description box below. I'm going to have to add Pretty Girl in there in the mix. And, uh, you know, uh, no problem. Appreciate you for coming through as well as being a member and, uh, you know, channel membership and part of the Discord family. Um, definitely appreciate that. That's how uh, I got to know you. And so, uh, definitely appreciate that. And, uh, everybody make sure you all subscribe, join the membership. We got a lot going on in there. You'd be surprised. You have a good time. A lot of good conversations, um, that you could join in on, um, as well as text chat. And, uh, also I want to say, keep my girl, Sally Ann and, uh, Ill Woods and Savannah, um, in your thoughts and prayers, uh, they, Thank they, you. yeah, yes. they got, they got a lot going on. And so, I you know, I was thinking about Sally Ann this week. I swear, I swear on my life. I was thinking about her. I was like, I haven't heard from her. Yeah. Sally Ann been going through a lot and, uh, you know, she's a good people and, uh, you know, definitely we need more good people, uh, I in this, in so this much. world. So, um, definitely want to keep, you know, everybody around as much as possible. And, uh, you know, we a family over here and, uh, you know, I want to make sure everybody can stick around as long as they can, you know, and, and be healthy and happy. So, um, I know she going through a tough time, but you know, the Lord got her back. I know everybody may not pray as Absolutely. much as they should. Absolutely. Or whatever, Stay but in prayer. Stay in prayer. definitely, and uh, you know we make it work, and uh, you know I'll see everybody on the next video. Um, deuces, be safe out there in them streets, and uh, you know oh, and R.I.P. to Colin Powell, um, eighty-four years old, passed away, COVID-related, um, but. He lived one heck of a life. Yeah, so, um, you know, hey, man, just try to live your best life. Take care of yourself. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one, Lord willing. Peace. And I'm up out of here. Deuces. Bye.